Well, g'day guys, welcome back to the channel. I recently had a little issue with my fridge. It's the 75 litre dual zone Dometic that sits in the back in the canopy. It was just before a big trip that I was doing. I came out the next morning and the temperatures just weren't right on it. And I knew something, there was a bit of an issue. Lucky enough, I could buzz into town, um, get the parts, but I wanted to post this because I know a lot of you guys are packing and, and looking at stuff that could go wrong on your trip and you want spare parts. So just keep this in mind. This little part might help save your ass when you're out on your big trip. And I know what you're gonna say, you should have bought an Engel. But I've had Wacos for years and um, I think my brother bought me my first when I was 18 and I've loved them. Um, they're still doing a great job. So check out this little fix of me putting it back together. This might help you out in your next trip. I came out this morning at about 5.30 ready to leave. And I just checked my fridge again. One zone was, was saying positive 15 degrees Celsius and the other was saying negative 10 which is what I had it set to so one thermostat was um, or thermista they're called these guys they've just got a probe on the end of them and uh, they slide in and they obviously regulate the temperature and when you set it I think the fridge works off it and um, so it was just running all night trying to get to the temperature and it was actually freezing the food that was in there uh, thinking that it was still at positive 15 <laughs> so I rang around a few places to try to get it done and it should be under warranty still, but they are just flat stick. This is leading up to the school holiday break now and all the fridge places are flat out. So I thought, geez, it can't be that hard and you should really be a technician to do it apparently, but it wasn't hard. I just pulled them out. Um, they clip in here and they slide in and with some pretty much industrial blue tack to keep it insulated. And then the white stuff is like a heat paste that they put on it. I think one's still working, the other one's not, but I'm gonna replace both of them now. So I didn't film taking it apart because I was just sort of working my way through it, but I'll film putting them back together. I couldn't find anything on YouTube about how to get these back in or out um, or find them or anything. And it's not that hard. So I'll get them back in here and get all this back together and see how she goes. So they sort of just sit down in here. This is the stuff that uh, come with it. It's a heat transfer compound. So I'll put that stuff on and, and then we'll, we'll slide him in. There's all there's a heap of stuff still in there. This is that it's like industrial blue tack basically. And it's just for insulation. When I pulled it out I just remembered that because uh, I've got dual zone, I need two. So the top one clicked into the white plug here and the bottom one clicks into the red plug. I took a photo as well, but I remembered that from this morning. So they match up with the thermostat. I'll put this one on as well. A little bit of that gooey sheet. Just measure. See this one's on this side because it's the shorter. So it's the... Sh freeze side that I'm using but the closest zone is the red okay. so that was the red one the clip one and that's the short side so the closest zone so I know that clicks into the red plug all right so I'm gonna put this stuff around it so they're in down there all sealed up and then runs under the wiring there and up over this side and then plugs in. So I've got to get that clip on. This little guy. Now, it has to sit pretty flat there because the fan intake, the air intake sits in there. All right. So, it's all looking okay, 
wiring there is not stretched. So you just want to make sure nothing's stretched and pulling, I guess. I'm no technician, but there was only one way for me to get going today, and that was by doing this myself. It should be under warranty, but I'm, I can't wait. It, this, it's literally weeks or month wait here to get a fridge done. It's peak season. Everyone wants to go away. Everyone wants their fridges done. It's a $2,000 fridge. I don't want to just buy a new one. I wanted to get it done, so it cost me 90 bucks for the thermostats, which is dear. You can get them online much cheaper. And then that heat paste was 13 bucks, which you, you know what, if you've got a problem, I'll send that bloody heat paste to you. I'm not gonna use it all. So I'm, I'm, I'm being hopeful that this all works and I can put it back together, but it wasn't too bad to replace the thermostats in here, or the thermistors they're called. So well, let's get this back on, let's see how we go. That section was a little tight. Obviously, you can just do all this in reverse. So I started with these. And these two at the top, there's two little black ones. Um, you will need a torque bit for them though. They're a different type of, they're not a Phillips head. Let's see if it works. At the very least, carry a spare firm uh, for Mister. Spare one of these, and uh, you can always do it out in the tracks um, if you ever bug it up. It will still run, it's just, it'll start wanting, it'll want to freeze because it always wants to get down to temperature from what I've found. I'm no, I'm not qualified to do it, but I need to go away. You need to be able to do these things uh, on your own sometimes, unfortunately. Let's plug it in. All right, so I'm going to pack everything up now and uh, I've just plugged it in. We'll see what happens. Um, one side's at zero, so that's reading correct. The other side says it's 16, um, which it had it. It's probably back closer to ambient, so. I've plugged it into AC, we'll get it down to temp, and uh, I'll throw my food in. Whew. Hopefully it works. Finally on the road, after sorting out that fridge this morning, went and got uh, two new Thermistors, which is what they're called, and uh, yeah, put, her, put them in, and there we go, starting to read. Much better. Late start, but uh, we're only a couple of hours in, so. Quick drink and uh, piss stop for me and Donny. And we'll keep motoring. Yeah! <laughs> Just took off, got 200 metres. And the caravan is pointing to the left. This is why. Ah, I did my brother's trick. He did that and lost a heap of gear. Oh. Alright. Too much bloody camera work and not enough mind on the job. Let's go! So there you go guys, I had to replace those thermistors. Um, I only had one that was damaged, so I've kept the other one as a spare, and it just got me thinking, I wonder if I knew about this earlier, I would have carried a spare. They're not too expensive, especially if you get them online, um, but might be something handy to chuck in the spare parts box uh, on your next big trip. And look, it's been working great since. The Dometic is a pretty good fridge. I've had two issues, the thermistors going, and the second issue is I leave my fridge just cracked when I leave it, I'm not using it. So when I'm driving around town or it's parked at home, and because I leave it cracked, it just puts a bit of pressure on those springs and the little latch doesn't like to close as easy. So just be mindful if you're leaving yours cracked, just so it doesn't go moldy and stuff like that, the little springs can get a bit stretched. Other than that, it's pretty good on juice. I leave one side of my dual zone to freeze and the other side for fridge. So that's why I prefer the dual zone. Um, the 75 litre is about the biggest I could go to fit in that ES220 drop down slide. I couldn't go as big as the 95, which was the next size up. So I'm happy I went the Waco, but a uh, bit of food for thought. If you're thinking about a fridge or if uh, you've, got a, you've got a Dometic, uh, before you go away next time, just make sure those things are in good working order. All right, guys, well, I hope you like that. Make sure you jump on the Instagram for any more content and the Facebook page. Um, lots of big trips coming up soon, and I'm really, really excited about it that I can film. So I'll get all that content onto YouTube. Thanks for all the comments from everyone uh, that are loving the videos and are subscribing. It's bloody awesome. So cheers, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Look what I was standing on. <laughs> oh, hey. The things I do to get the shot.